back to my channel my name is Tanisha go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new here in today's video we're gonna be talking about what's on my iPhone 11 so I have a purple iPhone and I got it when it first came out so I want to share with you guys a lot of people ask oh what apps do you do you use for YouTube what apps do you use for Instagram what apps do you use to help you like read the Bible and stuff so I'm going to be sharing all of my favorite apps and what I use on a daily basis so if you're interested in seeing what's on my iPhone 11 then keep watching pretty much all of my apps organized because I just like them that way I don't like them like scattered I don't like like swiping so many times to like search for different apps so all of my apps are pretty much organized and like a bubble so I have all my email apps in one place um, of course you have the standard calendar photos camera um, navigation I don't really know why navigation is in a bubble I think because I had another navigation type of I had Waze at one point, but then Waze was just, it wasn't like the iPhone navigation. I'm so used to that, so I'm just old school. I just don't, I can't get into Waze. I just can't. So I deleted that off my phone. So I, so I think that's why that bubble is there. But um, you see, I have weather, standard, clock, got my alarms, and then notes, of course. And then I have group me for like the different little groups that I'm in. Like a, I'm in a Christian book club, I'm in a purity club, I'm in so many different groups. So um, group me is for that. And then I used group me also when I was in college. So that's why group me is there. I have find my iPhone, um, just so I can find my phone. <laughs> and so I can find my iPad and my Apple Watch. And, you know, when I get the misplacing things, that app really does come in handy. So I have this new app called Newsbreak, and it just tells me like all the different um, national news, global news, local news, stuff like that. Um, let's see, we got FaceTime and Zoom. Of course, you know, everybody got Zoom now because of the coronavirus and people having to virtually have meetings like over. FaceTime, Zoom, you know, stuff like that. Um, I have the basic social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook Messenger, and TikTok. If you have not followed me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok because I like to dance. And I like to make people laugh. So, I mean, of course, I do also Christian videos in there too. I like to sing on TikTok. So, you might see a few of my videos that I've sung in my car or in my room or whatever so follow me on tiktok um let's see another other standard uh iphone apps and the utilities bubble all my bible apps this is what i kind of use when i am studying the bible for myself like other than going to church and stuff like that so i have the holy bible app the U version um, right now i'm doing the relationships goals devotional me and my boyfriend is doing it together um, they do have like devotionals where you could do by yourself and then devotionals you could do with like groups where you can actually invite people so me and him are doing this five-day reading plan um, based off the Bible and the book that my pastor Michael Todd wrote called Relationship Goals. So we are reading that. But this is where I come to read the Bible on my phone if I'm not reading it in my actual physical Bible. Um, the BLB Studies apps, these are just like commentary that I look up for if I want to study a specific scripture and like what it means and you know stuff like that. So those are really not apps they're just like bookmarks on my phone um 
yeah pretty much they're just bookmarks on my phone so they lead to a website where I'm able to look at different commentaries on particular scriptures um, logos Bible it's just another Bible app that has several different versions of the Bible on it and I have a Bible dictionary so I can look up what different words mean and what different you know people in the Bible what they were doing when they were in the Bible and stuff like that uh, I have 20 uplifting Bible verses for women again not an app just a particular web page that I decided to download on my phone and put in there I have one that says Jesus loves me one that says a woman's worth those are just like different Bible scriptures that are like together on a website or a different web page that I just click every now and then to go look at um, again just more web pages I have the Transformation Church app because um, I watch them occasionally on YouTube and um, on their app and stuff and so I also have Study Bible which is like again just another Bible on your phone. I'll sign out right now but um, it's just another Bible on your phone that have different versions of the Bible that you can read. And I think they have devotionals too on this one too. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So next up, I have entertainment. I have Spotify, AMC Theaters, Netflix, Disney Plus, TV Guide. Y'all know I love Netflix. If you see my eating a routine video, um, love watching Netflix, love Disney Plus. Um, the TV Guide I use just to see what's going to be on cable TV. And the AMC Theaters, uh, I like to order my tickets ahead, so I already have my seat, so I have that app. And then Spotify, I have lots of my gospel playlists on there. Um, I use that uh, for my, what I use it for? I use it for my praise dances when I have my girls at rehearsal. I use Spotify as, an, you know, a way for me to play the song while I'm teaching it to them. Um, so yeah, and I am a premium member or whatever it's called. I don't, I don't have the ad, so, um, yeah. I would invest in the, in the Spotify premium because once you go premium, I mean, you really can't go back. Once you do the free trial, it's like, ooh, I was listening to ads this whole time. So yeah, I like, I love Spotify premium. Then I have finance apps. I I definitely recommend for young women or young people in general to get Credit Karma. It's really a great app for you to be able to check your credit. Um, let's see. Food. I got McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Pizza Hut, Mold. I have a variety of different food apps on here, but um majority of them I wasn't even using so I just kept the ones on here when I did like a app clean because I clean my phone so I can make sure I have enough storage because I think this is a I don't know what storage this is I think it's a 16 or whatever the second highest one is that's what this is well I can't remember what this is for the last of me but whatever the second one is I didn't get the I don't think I got the basic. I don't think I did. I don't know. I can't remember. But I'm gonna link it down in the description box when I find out. But I don't. I don't think I got the basic. I think I got the second highest storage level of the iPhone 11. Um, but anyway. Oh lord, my my screen got dark. Cause the okay, let me real. Okay, so um, McDonald's, Chick Fil A, love Chick Fil A. Check your Chick-fil-A out. Um, Pizza Hut and Moe's. I love me some Moe's. That queso is like the best queso. It's better than Chipotle. It's better than Taco Mama. Like it's better than everybody. Okay. Um, then DoorDash. I love DoorDash. I said I was going to stop using DoorDash and I still use it. Not now. Not while Corona. But I love DoorDash. And then of course I have Starbucks. Y'all know I cannot, I cannot have a phone and not have the Starbucks app on here. Okay, I have to have my Starbucks app. Okay, 
so I can get that 50% off Thursdays. Buy one, get one free for Pacinos. I love Thursdays. I have my travel app. Um, here I have my countdown to Disney. Now this countdown is inaccurate because my Disney World trip got rescheduled because of the Corona. Thanks, Corona. But it got rescheduled, so that's not an accurate thing. But I have HomeAway and TripAdvisor. I, if you if you had a bad experience with Airbnb, I highly recommend HomeAway. Um, I used it a couple years ago when I went on a girls' trip with a couple of my friends. So if you are looking for something and you tired of HomeAway and you're tired of Airbnb, try HomeAway. It's very very nice. Um, the renters on there that I've had an experience with very very nice very understanding so um check out home away and i use TripAdvisor to just look at you know different attractions and different hotels if i choose to stay at a hotel or if i'm looking for a hotel or whatever TripAdvisor is your number one app whenever you book in a trip in my opinion because they have pretty much if they have restaurants on there they got attractions on there they got everything that's gonna make your trip a good trip and here finally I'm at my YouTube bubble I have the YouTube app Canva is your best friend I highly recommend doing the premium I'm on a trial right now for the premium and it is so nice like it's nice and you could just design whatever you can design it's nice I got Dropbox for when I want to like transfer files from my phone to my laptop or iPad or whatever. I have, I don't even know how you pronounce this because again I'm old. This is like a new person app. It's V-S-C-O. Anyway, I use it to like um, edit my pictures and stuff. PicMonkey, of course, you cannot have YouTube or a blog or anything without Pic PicMonkey. Um, YouTube Studio, of course, to check my stats and to check my comments and uh, see my videos being uploaded and stuff like that. I have Photo Grid. I use Photo Grid to like if I want to do like a collage of pictures, and I use Photo Grid for that. I've been using Photo Grid for years since like ninth grade. Um, I have TubeBuddy, of course, and then I have H2 Smart, which is like a, well, it really don't have nothing to do with YouTube, but I just put it there anyway. It's like a thing to help connect your phone to your printer, so you can be able to print off, like, different stuff you want to print off. I have a shopping bubble. I got JCPenney, Target, Bell, Amazon. I've never ordered anything off of Amazon, but I have the Amazon app on my, on my phone. I don't know why. I want to delete it when I don't because I'm like, okay, one day I might like need this or one day I might like use it. So, I don't know. But I got TJ Maxx. Of course, TJ Maxx. Shoe Carnival and Aldo and a host of other retail stores that I just love. Love shopping. Um, And that's pretty much it. I mean... Those are pretty much all my apps, all the things I use. Um, I'm still like getting into the YouTube game and finding out what apps people use, what apps people don't use um, to have better pictures, thumbnails, whatever. So I am learning as I go and I will be sharing for other YouTubers that want to maybe start their channel or maybe they're like too scared or don't know what to do, then I'll be sharing what I did and how you know I was able to start from the bottom to the top um, on this channel so you guys can be able to express yourselves on YouTube if that's what you choose to do but um, that is the end of this video let me know down in the comments what you thought about what was on my iPhone 11 and I want to know what's on your iPhone 11 and what apps you use for your YouTube channel or your social media uh, thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.